Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where we are today. It's time to pray once again. And today our prayer is focused on war and unrest in our nations. We are praying against war and unrest in our nations. And we are using Nigeria and Ukraine as our focus to pray for the nations of the world. I pray the Lord will hear us as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Bible reading, the first one is from Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 to 3. Exodus 15, verse 1 to 3, that reads, Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my Lord, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Hallelujah. I want us to know that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So wherever the country of the nation, whoever it is, the Lord owns everywhere. And if there is an unrest, it does not bring joy to the heart of God to see his people going through one problem or the other. That's why we want to join our voices together today to pray and seek the face of the Lord so that he can bring peace to places where there is unrest, where there is war, and I believe he's going to listen to us in Jesus' name. So I want us to begin to thank him. Let's enter his gate with thanksgiving. Let's enter his court with praise today. Let's say, Father, we thank you for the grace you have given us to be able to come to your presence once again. Oh, Lord, we appreciate you. We give you all the glory. Oh, Father, we exalt your majesty. You said we should come unto you. You will answer us. We should call unto you. You will answer us. You will show us great and mighty things. Thank God for your... Thank you, Lord, for being a faithful God. You are not a man that should lie. Father, we thank you because when we come to you you answer us thank you jesus lord we appreciate you lord we give you the glory we give you the honor we give you the adoration thank you jesus for the way you have been upholding the nations because we know if for the enemies of our countries they want us to be to be empty now they want us to be to, to be to be barren they want nothing to be prospering but father your mercy has kept us we worship you lord father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you all the adoration be thou exalted father in jesus name we pray let's thank him for his peace that is reigning if not for the lord we would have been consumed. Let's say, Father, we thank you for your peace that is reigning in our nation, for your peace that is reigning in my community, for your peace that is reigning in our country. Thank you, Jesus, because if it's the plan of the enemy, they want our country to be in war right now. Father, we thank you for your peace that is reigning. Thank you, Jesus, for your peace that is reigning. You didn't allow famine to take over our land. You didn't allow war to take over our land. You didn't allow pestilence to take over our land. Lord, we are grateful. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We say, Father, your word is we praise. All glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Psalm 46, verse 9 to 10 says, He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots in the fire. We're going to say, Father, Lord, make wars to seize in Nigeria, make wars to seize in Ukraine and every nation of the world. We pray today, Father, that Lord God Almighty, you make wars to seize in our nations in the name of Jesus. Father, make wars to seize in our nation in the name of Jesus. Enter tribal clashes, Lord. Father, let it seize in our nation in the name of Jesus, Father. Cause wars to seize in our nations in the name of Jesus. Father, cause wars to seize in our nation in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, the attack of bandits on our communities, cause it to seize in the name of Jesus. Father, cause wars to cease in our nation, in Nigeria, in Ukraine, in every countries of the world, Father. Cause wars to cease in the name of Jesus, Father. Cause wars to cease in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Psalm, that Psalm 46 verse 10 also says, Be still. I know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. We all know that when the Lord is exalted, there is peace. When the Lord is exalted, there is glory. When the Lord is exalted, his, his power is reigning. We're going to pray, Father, be exalted in our nations. 
Father, be exalted in our nations. Be exalted in our nations, Lord. In our politics, Father, be exalted. In our leadership, Father, be exalted. In our cabinet, Father, be exalted. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Be exalted in our nations, Father. Be exalted in our nations, Father. Be exalted in our nations, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in every of our leadership position, Father, be exalted, Lord. Father, be exalted, Lord. Father, be exalted, Lord. O oh Lord, establish your kingdom in our leadership positions in the name of Jesus so that people will not fight for themselves. People will not be greedy. People will not be selfish. O oh Lord, be exalted. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Begin to pray. O oh Lord, break every weapon of war that is causing destruction and death of your people in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, break every weapon of war, nuclear weapon, physical weapon, every weapon of war, Lord, that is causing destruction and death of your people. Father, break it in the name of Jesus. Father, break every weapon of war, break every weapon of war that is causing destruction and death of your people in the name of Jesus. Father, break it by your mercy. Break it by your mercy. Every weapon of war, Lord, that is causing destruction of your people. Father, break it, Lord. Father, break it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, break it. Every weapon of war that is causing destruction of your people. Father, break it. Causing death of your people. Causing death of children. Causing death of men and women. Father, break it, Lord. Father, break it, Lord. Every weapon of war, we break it today. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. Father, Lord. Cause confusion among every group planning war and destruction against your people and a land in Jesus' name. Father Lord, cause confusion among every group planning war and destruction against your people and a land in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, cause confusion, Lord, among every group planning war and destruction against your people and a land, against your people, Lord, and Nigeria, against your people in Ukraine, in the name of Jesus. Father, cause confusion in the name of Jesus among every group planning war cause confusion in the name of Jesus they will not understand themselves in the name of Jesus they will not be cooperation among them again in the name of Jesus father cause confusion cause confusion Lord cause confusion Lord cause confusion Lord in Jesus name we've prayed amen let Leviticus 26 verse 6 says I will give peace in the land and you shall lie down, and none will make you afraid I will rid the land of evil beasts and the sword will not go through your land that is the word of the Lord. I will give you peace in the land and you shall lie down. None shall make us afraid. People in some part of Nigeria cannot lie down because they are always afraid. Because they are afraid of invasion. They are afraid of being kidnapped. They are afraid of being killed unnecessarily. We're going to cry to the Lord, Father, give peace in the land in the name of Jesus. According to your word, you said you will give peace in the land. You, we shall lie down and none will make us afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, give peace in your land. Give peace in Nigeria, in every part of Nigeria, in northern Nigeria, in southwest, southeast, in the east, western area. Father, Lord, cause, Lord, your peace to reign in Nigeria. We decree your peace lord in every part of nigeria we decree your peace lord in every part of nigeria we decree your peace lord in every part of nigeria we decree your peace lord in every part of ukraine in the name of jesus lord father we decree your peace in every part of ukraine in the name of jesus we decree your peace in every part of ukraine in the name of jesus let your peace reign your peace that passes to all understanding father cause your peace to reign cause your peace to reign oh lord in jesus name we've prayed he says, I will read the land of evil beasts, and the sword will not go through your land. Oh Lord, Father, we decree, read our land, read Nigeria of evil beasts, of evil people, of wicked people. Let let there be an end to sword in Nigeria. Let there be an end to sword to killings in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, Father, read our land, Lord, of evil beasts, of kidnappers, of ritual killers. In the name of Jesus, Father, read our land, Lord, of evil beasts, of human traffickers. Father, read our land, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, read Ukraine, Lord, of evil beasts that is causing wars. In the name of Jesus, read the country of evil beasts. In the name of Jesus, Father, chase them out. Chase them out. Bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus, bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus, every evil beast in Nigeria, every wicked man, every wicked group of people that are causing evil in our country, in Nigeria, in Ukraine, we bring them to an end. We bring their reign to an end. We bring their reign to an end today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Psalms 29 verse 11 says, The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Oh Lord, bless your people with divine strength and peace. Many people, are, 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 are they don't even know what to do any longer. 
They are going through a very terrible time in some places in Nigeria, in Ukraine presently. We cannot keep quiet. These people were created in the image of God. Many families now cannot sleep because they have children that are schooling in Ukraine. Many families cannot sleep because they have children that have been kidnapped. They have family members that have been kidnapped in Nigeria. Some of people are looking for their family members for months now. The church cannot keep quiet. We cannot keep quiet. We're going to pray. Father, bless your people with divine strength and peace in the name of Jesus, Father. Bless us with divine strength and peace in the name of Jesus. Divine strength, Lord, to see this evil to an end, to bring this evil to an end on our knees with our voice, Lord. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, bless your people with divine strength. Bless your people with divine peace in the name of Jesus. Bless your people, Lord, with divine strength. Bless your people with divine peace in the name of Jesus. Father, bless your people with divine strength bless your people with divine peace in the name of jesus father bless your people with divine strength bless your people with divine peace in the name of jesus oh lord heavy of your people in nigeria heavy of your people in ukraine lord father bless them with divine strength and peace in jesus name we've prayed amen Let leviticus chapter 26 verse 7 says you will chase your enemies and they shall fall by the sword before you who are our enemies? Those that are planning evil against the land, the kidnappers, the ritual killers. They are our enemies. We're going to pray. Father, oh Lord, rid our land of every wicked and evil man. Bring an end to their reign in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, rid our land of every wicked and evil man. Father, bring an end to their reign in the name of Jesus. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, bring an end, Lord. Father, chase away every evil man and women from our land in the name of Jesus. Father, bring an end to their reign in the name of Jesus. Father, bring an end to their reign in the name of Jesus. Father, bring an end to their reign in the name of Jesus. Bring an end to the reign, Lord. Lord, of evil men and women in our land in the name of Jesus. Bring an end to their reign. Bring an end to their reign. Bring an end to their reign. To the reign of evil men and evil women in our land, Lord. Bring an end to them in the name of Jesus. Father, bring them to an end in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let, th let their secret be revealed in the name of Jesus. Expose them for destruction in the name of Jesus. Father, expose them for destruction in the name of Jesus. Expose them for destruction and heavy of their accomplices. Expose them for destruction in Jesus' name, we've prayed. We get to pray, Father, every ritual killers, kidnappers, those enriching themselves with the outbreak of war and unrest. We seize their power and sport in the name of Jesus. We seize their power and sport in the name of Jesus. Every ritual killers, every kidnappers, those enriching themselves with the outbreak of war and unrest. We seize their power and sport in the name of Jesus, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every ritual killers, Lord, every kidnappers, Lord, every one, Lord, that is enriching themselves with the outbreak of war and unrest in Nigeria, in Ukraine. We bring their life to an end. We seize them from living. We bring their life to an end. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bring their life to an end. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we bring their reign to an end. We bring their life to an end. In the name of Jesus, we bring their reign to an end. We bring their life to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, every principalities and power, every power in high places, every leaders that are enriching themselves with the heartbreak of war in Nigeria, every Every part of Nigeria, in Ukraine, in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree today, Lord, we seize them, Lord. We seize their power. We seize their breath. We seize their life, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus, Father, the blood is crying upon our land. The blood is crying upon our land. Every blood has been shed innocently. Father, Lord God Almighty, the blood of children, the blood of men and women that has been shed in Nigeria, in Ukraine, in South Africa. Father, look upon this, Lord, and arise, Lord. Let their lives be seized. Everyone that is shedding blood in Nigeria, in Ukraine, in South Africa, Father, seize their life, seize their existence. From henceforth in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. We're going to pray, oh Lord, bring every reign of terror to an end in our nation in Jesus' name. Father, bring every reign of terror to an end in our nation in Jesus' name. Father, we pray by your mercy, Lord, bring every reign of terror to an end in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bring every reign of terror to an end in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bring every reign of terror to an end in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring every reign of terror to an end in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, bring every reign of terror to an end in Nigeria, in South Africa, in Ukraine, Lord. Every power that is reigning, that is bring terror to your people, bring them to an end. Bring them to an end. In, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah 32 verse 18 says, My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places, we're going to pray, Father. We decree, Lord, according to your word, my your people, Lord, we will dwell in a peaceful habitation. We will dwell in secure dwellings and in quiet resting places. In the name of Jesus, heavy of your people, Lord, that call upon your name. Heavy of your people, Lord, in Nigeria, in Ukraine, in South Africa, Lord, they will dwell, Lord, in peaceful habitation. They will dwell, Lord, in secure dwellings. They will dwell in quiet resting places. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We decree according to your word in Isaiah 32, verse 18. Father, your people, Lord, your people, Lord, I and my family members, I and my country, Lord, we will dwell, Lord, in a peaceful habitation. We will dwell in secure dwellings. We will dwell in quiet resting places in the name of Jesus. We will dwell in peaceful habitation. We will dwell in secure dwellings. We will dwell in a restful place in the name of Jesus. Ha, wherever it is, my loved ones are, Lord, they will dwell in peaceful habitations. They will dwell in secure dwellings. They will dwell, Lord, in peaceful resting places in the name of Jesus. None shall make them afraid. Nothing shall make them afraid in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall make them afraid in Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah 4 verse 8 says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in, in safety. We're going to pray, oh Lord, cause your people to dwell in safety in the name of Jesus. Wherever it is your people are, wherever it is they find themselves, cause them to dwell in safety. Father, cause your people to dwell in safety in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, cause your people to dwell in safety in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, cause your people to dwell in safety. Cause my family to dwell in safety. Cause my children to dwell in safety. Cause my husband to dwell in safety in the name of Jesus. Heavy of my loved ones, cause them to dwell in safety. We pray, Father, that in Nigeria, cause us to dwell in safety in Ukraine, Lord. Father, cause your people there to dwell in safety in South Africa, Lord. Cause us to dwell in safety in the mighty name of Jesus in every nation of the world, Lord. Father, cause us to dwell in safety. We bring an end, Lord, to terror. We bring an end, Lord, to the reign of fear in the name of Jesus. Father, cause your people to dwell in safety in Jesus' name. We've prayed, Amen. Jeremiah 51, verse 25 and 26 says, The easy um, version, easy to read version. Babylon, you are like a mountain that destroys the whole earth, says the Lord. I will put out my hands towards you, and I will push you down. I will burn you up. Nobody will ever use any of your stones for a new building. You will be like a des desert for, for all time, the Lord says. The ones that think they have the power. The ones that are going up and down, you know, showing I have weapons of war. I can do this. God is saying in this passage, he said, I will put out my hands towards you and I will push you down. I will put out my hands towards you. Just like he did for Pharaoh, just like he did for Herod. It's just like he did for Nebuchadnezzar also until his head came back to himself and he said, God is the only sovereign one. He says, I will put out my spirit towards you and I will push you down. We're going to pray, Father Lord, fight against every power, every good authority that is causing wars and chaos in our nation in Jesus' name. Every power, every good authority that is causing unrest in our nation. Father Lord, we pray that you come against them today by your power. Come against them with your mighty hand. Come against them with your mighty hand. Come against them with your mighty hand. Every power, every authority, everyone in high places that is causing chaos, that is causing unrest among your people. Father, pull them down today. 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 In the name of Jesus, pull them down today. Bring them to an end. Bring them to an end. Bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus, bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus, pull them down today. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Oh Lord, stretch forth your hands against them. Destroy their power. Remove their support and confidence and bring them to a disgraceful end. 
O oh Lord, stretch forth your hands against them. Destroy their power. Remove their support and confidence and bring them to a disgraceful end in the name of Jesus. Every power, every one, every group of people that is bringing wars and chaos in our nation, that is bringing on unrest in our nation, Father, we pray, stretch forth your hand against them. Destroy their power. Remove their support and confidence and bring them to a disgraceful end in the name of Jesus. Whoever it is, Lord, everyone, Lord, that is causing evil, that is causing mayhem in your among your people will pray father straight forth your hands against them destroy their power destroy their power remove their support and confidence lord father bring them to a disgraceful end in the name of jesus bring them to a disgraceful end in the name of jesus bring them to a disgraceful end in jesus name we've prayed jeremiah 51 verse 20 says you are my battle axe and weapons of war for with you i will break the nation in pieces with you I will destroy kingdoms. Father, Lord, empower us to be your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, Father, empower us to be your battle axe and weapons of war. To destroy every enemy of your people in the name of Jesus, Father. Empower us to be your battle axe, Lord, and weapons of war. To destroy your every enemy of your people in the name of Jesus. Father, raise battle axe for yourself. Father, raise battle axe, Lord. Empower us, Lord, and raise more battle axe for yourself, Lord. Oh, Lord, that will destroy every enemy of your people in the name name of Jesus. Father, as you raise David, Lord, Father, Lord, raise battle acts amongst your people. In the name of Jesus, empower us, Lord. Empower us, Lord, and raise battle acts among your people, Lord, so that we can destroy your enemies. In the name of Jesus, empower us to destroy every enemy of your our nation, every enemy of our family and church. Empower us, O Lord. Empower us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 68 verse 30 says, Speak against your enemies. Some are like wild animals that live in the reeds. Some are proud nations like bulls among their young cows. They must be humble and offer to you gifts of valuable silver things. Chase away those nations that like to fight wars. We are to chase them away. It means if we don't chase them away, if we don't pray them away, if we don't come against them, they will continue to rule like that. They will continue to bring war and unrest in our nation. We're going to pray. Father, we speak against them. Every enemies of peace. Every enemies of peace. Every enemies of, of our nation. Father, we come against them. We speak against them, Lord. Every enemies of Nigeria. We come against them. We speak against them. In the name of Jesus. Every enemies of our nation, Lord. That are sponsor, sponsoring the bandits. That are sponsoring kidnappings. Father, we speak against them. That are sponsoring ritual killings. We speak against them today. And we pull them. We will pull them. In the name of Jesus. We say you cease to reign. In the name of Jesus. We cease the breath from your nostrils right now. We cease the breath from your nostrils right now. We render you ah, useless in the name of Jesus. We render you powerless in the name of Jesus. We render you powerless in the name of Jesus. No longer shall you reign. No longer shall you rule. No longer shall you have a voice to cause chaos and wars and men in the name of Jesus. We render them powerless in the name of Jesus. We raise oh, power against them in the name of Jesus. Father, we raise, Lord, power against them. We raise the hand of the Lord against them. We raise the hand of the Lord against them and we destroy them. We dismantle their power. We destroy their organization. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It says, chase away those nations that like to fight wars. Father, every nation, everyone, every leader that likes to fight war, we chase them away from us in the name of Jesus. We chase them away from among your people in the name of Jesus. Father, we chase them away in the name of Jesus. We chase them away in the name of Jesus. Every nation that wants to fight war, every nation that are raising wars, every nation that are causing unrest, every group of people that are causing unrest among your people, the Boko Haram, Father, we come against them. In the name of Jesus, every group of kidnappers, we come against them. In the name of Jesus, every group of ritual killers, we come against them. In the name of Jesus, every nation Lord, that is bringing war against your people in Ukraine, we come against them. In the name of Jesus, every violent man that is causing evil in South Africa, we come against them. In the name of Jesus, every ring of evil men, we destroy it, we dismantle it. In the name of Jesus, we dismantle it, we dismantle it. In the name of Jesus, we dismantle it. It. In the name of Jesus, we dismantle it. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray. Cause your peace to reign. Cause your peace to reign. Cause your peace to reign. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to pray for everyone. 
the refugees, the displaced people. Oh Lord, give them settlement. Oh Lord, give them settlement. Oh Lord, give them settlement. Send your angels to guard them. Send your angels to keep them. In the name of Jesus, the millions of people that have been unsettled, the millions of people that have become refugee because of the wars and unrest. Oh Father, we plead in your mercy. Let your angels, Lord, help them. Let your Father send help to them. Send help to them. Send help to them. Send help to them in every nation of the world. Send help to them, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for you've done it. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray. Let's keep praying. Let's keep praying. Let's share this so that others also can join to pray. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The Lord will bring peace to our nation. The Lord will, the Lord will bring peace to Nigeria. The Lord will bring peace to Ukraine. The Lord will bring peace to every nation of the world in Jesus' name. God bless us. Have a blessed day ahead. Amen.